Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Eat Pancho back at you again with another video. And so we've got some news that broke earlier on today in regards to the murder of Sarah Everard. Now, the last time we covered this case, we went over the most recent court hearings where Metropolitan Police Officer Wayne Cousins went on to plead guilty to the kidnap and rape of Sarah, but today he's also gone on to admit to the murder charge. Now, this isn't because he pled not guilty or anything like that, it was just postponed until today, hence why he's pled guilty. Up until now, we haven't had much in-depth details surrounding this case, and we won't get super in-depth details until the sentencing hearing, but some additional information has been released along with his mugshot, which I thought we'd go over today. So in the last video, we went over brief information about what exactly happened to Sarah, but today the prosecution would go into a bit more detail about Sarah's last moments and give a more in-depth look into the police investigation itself. In court, prosecutor Zoe Martin said, quote, Sarah Everard sought a friend in the Clapham Junction area on the 3rd of March and brought a bottle of wine. She left that address at around 9pm to come home. Her address was about two and a half miles away and at 9.15 she called a boyfriend for about 15 minutes. That call finished at 9.28pm and there was no further activity on a phone after that call. Sarah Everard was captured on CCTV at 9.15 and the next sighting was at 9.28pm and again she was alone. At 9.38pm a bus camera captures two figures standing by a white Vauxhall Astra. One of the figures had lighter clothing and the other darker clothing. Another bus camera also captures the same vehicle. The registration of the vehicle was captured and the police tracked the vehicle using CCTV. The Vauxhall drove to Tillman Stone in Kent. The white Vauxhall Astra is a hire car with Enterprise Car Hire in Dover. On the 28th of February 2021, Wayne Cousins booked a hire car using his name, address and two different mobile numbers. He paid a deposit using his bank card. Wayne Cousins collected the white Vauxhall Astra seen in the CCTV footage on Wednesday the 3rd of March 2021 at around 4.45pm and returned it approximately the day after at 8.30 a.m. On investigating the telephone numbers given to Enterprise, it is discovered that Wayne Cousins is a serving police officer. It's the same mobile number on his personal records at the Metropolitan Police Service. In reference to Wayne Cousins, the prosecution said he's currently employed within the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Group and is a trained firearms officer. On the 2nd of March 2021, so this is the day before Sarah went missing, at 7 p.m. he started to work at his base in Lill Road, West Brompton, and worked a 12-hour shift. He then began a period of leave and was not due to be back at work until Monday the 8th of March. On the 5th of March, he reported to work that he was suffering with stress, and on the 6th of March, he emailed his supervisor to say he no longer wanted to carry a firearm. On March the 8th, he reported in sick. He went on to be arrested at his home in Deal on the 9th of March and was interviewed. He initially said he didn't know Sarah Everard but then disclosed that he had financial difficulties and he and his family were being threatened by a gang of Eastern Europeans. He said that two or three weeks prior he had underpaid a prostitute, usually meeting them at Hotel Burston or the Holiday Inn in Folkestone. And a gang with links to this prostitute told him that as a consequence he had to deliver them another girl. They said if he didn't they would harm his family. He also detailed that the gang had been watching him at his house. He said he kidnapped Sarah and drove her out of London, and when he got between Ashford and Maidstone, he was flashed by a Mercedes van with Romanian number plates. He says he pulled into the lay-by and three Eastern European men got out of the van and took Sarah. This was between 11 and 11.30pm on the 3rd of March 2021, and she was still alive and uninjured when he delivered her to the men. He would go on to give police a description of the men and a rough indication of the location of the exchange. As the investigation continued, police established that Wayne and his wife had purchased a small area of land in 2019. The woodland is off Frid Lane in Ashford, and the prosecution would go on to say that that, along with phone data which was summarised by police, led to the area being designated as a crime scene. It was then at around 4.45pm on the 10th of March 2021, a body was discovered approximately 100 metres away from the area owned by Wayne. The body was in a large green builder's bag and deposited in a stream, and as we've went over in previous videos, it was dental records that confirmed that this was the body of Sarah Everard. 
But the story doesn't just stop there because when this story initially broke about Wayne going on to be arrested, there were headlines saying that only days prior to the kidnap of Sarah, Wayne was alleged to have exposed himself in a McDonald's restaurant, but this was never investigated by the Metropolitan Police Service. Well, it's now thought that the police are investigating claims that this happened twice not just once we're unsure if it was on separate occasions but again one of those incidents was alleged to have happened just three days prior to the kidnap of sarah just like the initial report said but on top of this ladies and gentlemen believe it or not the man himself wayne cousins has also been linked to a 2015 indecent exposure case when he was working for kent police again kent police failed to investigate these claims but of course with this all now coming to light an internal investigation will be looking at those claims as well but i do find it interesting how on the 9th of march he would go on to admit to kidnapping sarah of course after he was picked up on cctv and he thought he was going to outsmart police but of course in the end she was found on his land and i think at that point wayne must have just collected himself and just admitted to it because at that point when you've already said to police that this is what already happened why then would she end up on your land and at that point, I can see why he admitted to the murder charge also. But we are getting to the end stages of this whole situation now. Of course, we still have this sentence in hearing. There could be appeals as well. I don't know whether he'll go for an appeal, but of course, he is entitled to one. So we'll just have to see what happens when that comes around. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy, Ape Hancho, and I'm out.